It would appear that the Sorting Hat has selected Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley as the subjects for this review. Yes, because today's video we're going to be having a look at the new Harry Potter vinyls of Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley. You thinking what I'm thinking? You're thinking, let's first figure out how tall these figures were. Great minds think alike. You, you guys, great minds think alike. Taking the Ultra Measure Tron and measuring to the very, very top, the very top of Hermione's head. And stopping it right there, 4.2 inches is the measurements. That's how tall this vinyl is. Centimeters, somebody yells from the back of the audience. Yes, centimeters, 10.8. Let's switch that back to inches. I'm getting a little bit better at this, getting a little quicker with the Ultra Measuretron 5000. There's a bit of a learning curve, but I think I'm picking it up. Taking it to the top of Ron Weasley's head. Somebody yells from the back of the audience, is it really called the Ultra Measuretron 5000? <laughs> no, it's not. I just call it that. 4.3. 4.3 inches in height. Centimeters, yes, to the heckler in the back, 11 centimeters in height, stands Ron Weasley. Both the vinyl figures come included with their display stands, which is something I want to talk about here for a split second. Faithful viewers to this channel, thank you for that, by the way, will probably be very astute in recognizing the fact that these display stands only have one single peg. Some of the older vinyl figures relied on two pegs. And in all honesty, I never could understand why. I scratched my head at the sheer thought of why double pegs were required. Single pegs do just as much the same job. You can see that she does have a peg only on one of her feet. Attaching it very quite easily and quickly, I might add, to Hermione's foot, she accomplishes exactly the same thing as some of her predecessors that required two pegs on their stands. Why is that? I don't know. Ron Weasley also comes with a display stand with, yes, you guessed it, only one peg. I hope moving forward, this is a consistent trend that we're going to start seeing with a lot of Funko's releases. It really does beg the question, not that the question required begging, why, oh, why did they need to have two, two uh, pegs on their stands? Okay, okay, well, I've talked enough about that. Um, I want to, let's talk about Ron first. I know you were thinking I was going to talk about Hermione, but let's talk a little bit about Ron because I think I like Hermione just a little bit more. I also like for the fact that these particular figures, we've just recently, if you look at the timeline of events, just recently looked at the Hagrid and uh, Harry Potter, and it's something that I can talk about now on the more recent releases of Ron and Hermione. You'll see, for example... Ron is sporting little scabbers inside his hand. He's also sporting a wand. Talking a little bit about what I mentioned before, that sounds like a segue. It does sound like a segue. There is Harry Potter that we already had a look at before. Not too long ago, actually. Or, in fact, they might have actually just been side to side. Maybe I put two videos back to back. But one thing is clearly evident here. Uh, Ron definitely has a lot more in the way of accessories. Why could they not have done the same for Harry Potter? Harry Potter kind of just looks more awkward now, doesn't he, for the fact that he doesn't come with any sort of accessories. Ron comes with his wand, something I thought might have been the issue with uh, Harry Potter, but clearly it's right there. I mean, it could break, I know, if you did this and you were very aggressive with it, but at the very least, Ron does come with a wand and he comes with little tiny scabbers. I like how cute Scabbers is sitting inside Ron's hand, even like the little tail. Something else potentially could be broken off, and yet, sure enough, Funko includes that. <sighs> so, I hope down the road maybe we may get ourselves a yet another Harry Potter that's going to give us some extra stuff. Some bells, some whistles. He doesn't really need to have either, but at the very least, he should have come. Maybe if they had redone uh, Harry to maybe have his owl, for example, in his hand and a, and a similar wand. Maybe we might see that with a future release. I don't really want to spend a lot of time. Oh, okay, we'll do it one, one more one more thing, one more thing. Some size comparisons. 
I'm trying to do some more size comparisons in these videos. We'll move the three kids to the side, the trio, if you will, and there's Hagrid, just so you guys can see all, so far as, as far as I know, all the releases of the Funko vinyls up to this point. There may be another one. As far as I know, these are the only Harry Potter ones we've gotten so far. Hagrid very much taller than the three Kidlins, as it really should be the case. Okay, you got all that? Mental image? Okay, we'll move this out of the way. All right, so going back to Ron Weasley, you know, like I said, he's, I think I like Hermione just a little bit more, but I think they've done a bang-up job here on Ron Weasley, even giving him his little freckles, his bright green eyes. He's a little bit more paler in complexion. Is he? A little bit. Slightly. Slightly a little bit less than Hermione. I've done a good job of giving him his little v-neck collar, uh, sweater, as well as a shirt and tie. Very clean looking figure. Hair sculpted quite nicely. A very cute version of of, uh, of Ron. One thing I'm just, sorry, I caught my train of thought here. I'm looking here. I can't say that the paint is 100% clean. You can see right there, there's these little two, almost looks like vampire bites by apparently a blind vampire because a vampire should be biting on the side of the neck. This guy just decides to go right for the jugular. There's two bite marks right there. Little paint, unfortunately. Faux pod right there on the throat section. I guess there is a little bit of paint carrying over to the sweater, so yeah, I have to mention that. Can't leave that off completely. Uh, Ron's articulation, by the way. His head, his head rotates, there we go, all the way around. Just lost the display stand in the process of that. But yeah, his head rotates all the way around. Pretty consistent with what we're seeing with the other releases. Although I have to admit, like, I prefer the swiveled heads. As we look and continue into the realm of the vinyls, you'll see like the Disney properties, like say, for example, the Marvels and the Star Wars. I think they're more so bobble heads, which I don't like at all. I think it destroys really the effect that they're going for with these vinyls. Anyways, I'm talking about Star Wars or Marvel right now. So Hermione also comes with a little book, a little book of spells. She also comes with her wand, similar to Ron. Oh, Potter, you and your lazy draping arms. I like how her expression has her eyes facing this way, as opposed to straight on. She's also got a similar colored sweater to that of Ron, although swapped out here, she has her skirt. Now, admittingly, there's a little bit of gray that's carried its way into the leg. The socks also could easily have just been painted anywhere. They're just gray paint that they've added to the legs. That's okay. I guess that's not the cleanest of socks, but at the very least, she's got her tops of her shoes painted. That's a little bit more than what Ron had because, of course, these are open shoes. I love the hair sculpt. Nice brown coloring on her hair. She does swivel in the same way that Ron does. Although right here, let me just see if I can show you. Right there, oh, hits the elbow. Right here, oh, hits another elbow. Elbow, elbow. Elbow, elbow, hair everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, you can't rotate her head all the way around. Technically, that would kill her anyways. I really wouldn't wish that any of you would want to see her head swivel all the way around. Unless, say, for example, she was from The Exorcist. But either, either or, though, as it goes, I really do like these quite a bit. I like, I know, I know, I'm a big sucker when it comes to vinyls anyways, so it seems more and more increasingly so as you guys watch these videos on these channels. Thank you, by the way, for watching the videos on this channel. By the way, thank you for that. Uh, as you guys continue to watch the videos on this channel, you'll know that as much as Funko as a whole kind of sort of disappoints me, I go back and continue to pick up the vinyls. It's like the one redeeming, that's not true, I also like the Mystery Minis, but it's one of the only few of the things that Funko does well. I wish they would continue to do more vinyl figures, and I certainly hope, seeing how well both Hermione and Ron Weasley turned out, I certainly hope that we're also going to see some more Harry Potter vinyls. I alluded a little bit at this in the beginning, but uh, I would certainly love to also see the Sorting Hat. Can you imagine a little Sorting Hat as a vinyl? It wouldn't have any pose posability actually there wouldn't be I can't think of anything that would really rotate to it and it would sort of break the mold of what we normally see here for vinyls but could you imagine a sorting hat as a vinyl let me know what other Harry Potter figures you would like to see or characters you'd like to see from the Harry Potter films make their way to the vinyl treatment 
unlike the Hagrid and Harry Potter that we had looked at previously, that one I did delay a little bit by getting it up. Yes, unfortunately, all the other things I was looking at at the time, Harry Potter and poor Hagrid were sitting on the shelf waiting to be reviewed. On the contrast, though, both Hermione and Ron Weasley, there are new sets, fairly new at least. So the chances of picking this one up, unlike the Hagrid and Harry Potter, probably be a little bit better in your best interest than if you want to swing over to a comic book store right now. You may be able to find these. I've also found some vinyls at local Toys R Us and retail stores as well. There are a few vinyls that I unfortunately missed on my radar of picking up. A couple of Thundercats ones I'd like to go and eventually find. But consistently, like I said, over these videos you probably are starting to pick up. As the vinyls are coming out, I generally like to grab them right away. They're one of the nicest looking collectibles that Funko continues to put out. And I feel as if if they had just slim back, just pull back a little bit Funko on the pop variety figures and release more vinyls, I'll be one happy collector. Either way, if you guys are interested, like I said, picking these ones up for yourself, you should be able to find them fairly readily available uh, as this set is somewhat new. I think it just came out or it came out maybe a week or so ago. Somebody's going to tell me otherwise down below. Either way, guys, if you want to go back and have a look at some of my other Funko vinyl reviews, don't worry, don't fret, don't fear there's a playlist just for you. And if you specifically just want to check out some more Funko stuff, there's a playlist of Funko as well. I'm trying my best, especially going into the year 2019. I said, the way I said that, it sounds like we're into the future. Rocket ships. But uh, into the year of 2019, one thing I want to focus more so is organizing these videos a little bit better on this channel. Sometimes if you guys are specifically like looking for vinyls, just because we're looking at vinyls right now, I want to make them a little bit more easier to find by looking at your playlist or the playlist on this channel. So if there's something specifically you guys want to see and you want to see more of it, the best advice I can make right now, even if we're not into the future of 2019, check out the playlist. It's your best best way to find all the stuff that I've done collectively squished together. Figuratively, not literally, not literally. But uh, check out your playlist. Check out, I say your playlist, check out my place, playlist on this channel. And more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.